All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do the first look, the very first look at Puzzle Strike Deluxe Edition. These are the first images that have been coming out into the world, so let's see what she looks like. Puzzle Strike by Serlin Games, a Dominion clone, or Dominion... Oh, that's nice. It's a bigger box than I thought. All right. Let's see what she looks like, huh? Nice wooden box, a deluxe edition. Costs $150. So let's find out if it was worth the wait. So this is interesting. It's a box like a regular game box. That's cool. We've got the rule book here. Pretty much identical to the one online. This is 4.8D, so it's not quite as recent as the brand new one that's posted online, but otherwise it's still quite good. Full color. Everybody likes full color. 25 out of 100. Apparently this is the 25th copy ever to be, uh, to be manufactured. That may or may not be a signature. We've got some nice, ooh, very nice bags. These are very nice. Extremely good quality, I think. It's, uh, it's not going to catch the chips either. That's something that I was worried about, because some cloth bags will actually catch the chips or, or chits or whatever you're pulling out of them. These are nice, though. So we've got blue, orange, green, and red. Very nice colors. I like these a lot. So this is what everything's about, though, because certainly there have been some issues with print quality in the other editions. I like the fact that the box is, is, is a top and a bottom made out of wood. That's very interesting. That's different from the way that they did it on the other one, but probably the only way that they could. So the back of the box here, you can see. It's a little washed out color-wise, but otherwise I think it looks quite sharp. And, uh, and quite good for printing on wood. I mean, it's washed out compared to printing on what paper or plastic would be, but otherwise I think it looks quite good. So let's see about the important part here. Pull all the plastic off. Again, similar to Dominion style games. They have a nice tray for holding everything. I appreciate that. So here we have uh, we have this. Let's just look at the construction of how this is made. It's just all one piece here, looks like. So let us pull out some example chips and let's take a look at them. We've got uh, one gems here. For some reason there's a two mixed in there. These are supposed to be three gems. I wonder if they weren't uh, does not appear that they were uh, organized when they were put in. Yes, yes, we've got gems of all kinds here, so I'm just going to have to organize them, it looks like. But uh, the good news is that they look very sharp, and right now the colors are not bad. This is a brown. It's a little bit offset, unfortunately, you can see on the side there, but otherwise it's not terrible. Let's see about the rest of these here. We've got Mix Master. That is definitely red. I mean, it's a it's a it's a purplish red, but it's not orange or something weird like some of the other chips were. Wounds, wounds, chips do nothing. Stolen purples, another red, red chip. We got more ones here. A crash gem. Let's see if we can take the difference between the crash gem, which is supposed to be a purple banner, and the red chip, which is supposed to be red. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I think it looks pretty good. You can clearly tell the difference between what red is supposed to be. Red is a little bit of a lighter red, but purple is very distinct from it, which is good news. And let's see, we've got, uh, we've got some other chips here. We've got a blue. Blue is very clearly blue. I mean, this isn't like bluish purple, this is blue, so that's easy. The text is very legible, I think, if you look at that there. I, I per Hopefully the, the video quality comes through, but looking at it in my hand, it's very clear quality. No, no problems with smudging like there was with some of the older uh, print runs. 
There's some blank chips in here, so you can, you know, if you lose one or something, you can write write on it with a mar marker or something, maybe. We've got uh, some character chips here. We've got Panda's Bargain, Lum. Eh, even the graphic of having Lum up there is uh, is pretty good. This doesn't seem to... There's the focus. Um, yeah, so I think that looks pretty good there. Overall, I'm definitely... Uh, it's, a, it's about what I kind of expected it to be. Uh, based on what people were saying. These are probably the... They're all apparent to be the same quality as well. And they're definitely very playable. The only thing that... Uh, I mean, the wounds are sort of this pinkish instead of a red, like, blood color that they're supposed to be. You know, so that's, that's a little unfortunate, but it's still very obviously... It's, it's, what it's, it's what it's supposed to be. It's a wound. It does nothing. So uh, I'll just be organizing these all day, I guess, and uh, we'll give a, a preview of how the game actually works sometime in the near future. Thanks for watching.